In parts of Canada, winter is long, cold, dark, and snowy. And even in summer, the growing season is short. So when I heard a Canadian company was using NASA technology that lets you grow fresh food indoors with minimal effort, I had to know more. Meet Plantiform. This space age or space egg looking pod is a garden that lets you grow lettuce, herbs, and more with just a bit of water, special plant pods, and the magic of fog. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and I recently received a Plantiform indoor garden on loan from the company to test out for a few weeks here in my home. And in this review, I'm going to take a look at what's involved with getting this device set up, how it works, how long it takes to grow plants, and what the results both look like and taste like. I'll wrap things up with both the pros and the cons and let you know if I think I can recommend this futuristic indoor garden concept for you. Plantiform uses water and special soil-free plant pods to grow up to 15 plants at once inside this large bubble-shaped ecosystem. The garden is filled with water and fertilizer and has built-in grow lights so your new garden can grow completely autonomously. It should produce its first crop within about 30 days. The design is totally futuristic. This slightly alien looking egg shaped pod is actually really sleek and modern and I think it looks pretty cool in my home. What also looks pretty futuristic is when the inside of the pod fills with mist and this is the unique technology that makes Plantiform stand out. Plantiform uses what's called fog ponics inside this device to hydrate the plants. That means unlike some other indoor garden options, it doesn't need a noisy pump and constantly running water. Fog ponics is an advanced form of something called aeroponics that NASA has explored to grow plants in space. Instead of keeping the roots drenched in water like hydroponics, fog ponics uses ultrasonic technology to atomize the water and fertilizer into a mist, which goes right into the roots of the plants via the pod's central column. Amazingly, ultrasonically shaking that water to turn it into mist means fog ponics uses about 98% less water than traditional hydroponics. Yay, science! Let's get to the unboxing so you can see what you're getting here. The first thing you'll need to know is this is not a small device. Measuring about 26 inches tall and two feet across, it's going to take up a lot of space in your home. The other thing I'll note is that it doesn't come with any kind of stand or base, so you'll most likely want to place this up on something instead of on the floor, so try to locate a small table that will support its weight. Once you unwrap the garden, there's lots of interesting things inside it. There are a few tinted plastic panels, which are going to act as magnetic doors around all four sides of your garden. Packed inside the pod are a few additional boxes and pieces, including a handful of cleaning and hydration supplies, like a water bottle and a pitcher. You also get a small box of nine mixed lettuce seed pods, which contain a spongy greenish growing medium instead of soil. A plastic bag stashed in here also contains additional accessories, like the power cord as well as pod plugs, hydroponic fertilizer, and lids and grow domes. There's also some white plastic panels that will act as base plates or covers over the water reservoir inside the pod. There's one more important item that's actually not in the box and that's the Plantiform app, which is going to connect to your home's Wi-Fi to allow remote monitoring and guidance over your garden. It also contains the instructions for how to set up your pod and start the growing cycle. Once we placed the pod on a small table in a corner of our kitchen and plugged it in, the instructions are fairly straightforward. The app will ask you to open up the top door and fill that section with water and fertilizer powder. Then you'll also fill the large reservoir in the base with more water. Once all the water is full, you can set the plastic base plates over the top of that reservoir. The final step is to follow the instructions for prepping and then placing each seed pod. You'll start by scanning the QR code that's included with your box of seeds and this will be how the app knows how to track your crop. Each seed pod needs to be soaked in water for about 10 seconds first, and then a small map included in the box will tell you where among the three levels inside the central column in the garden to place it. Each pod slides into one of the holes. Some seem to fit a bit better than others, but then each pod gets covered with a plastic dome, which is going to help humidify it during the sprouting phase. 
Your plantiform rejuvenate is going to handle everything from here on out, including the watering and the lighting. By scanning the QR code on the box of your seed pods, you're telling the device what kind of essentials that crop needs, and it's going to manage things for you. Now, to some extent, you can control when the lights come on and off, but the overall duration of that lighting cycle is going to be controlled by the app so that your plants are always going to be getting enough light and water at the various stages of their growing cycle. I will say the lights are incredibly bright in this device. Fortunately, the plastic doors included are tinted and this goes a long way to dimming the garden's overall brightness. Once you have everything set up, your next job is to leave your garden alone for about two weeks. Within about three or four days, you should start to see tiny sprouts developing under their domes. This feels like the slowest part of the growing cycle. After about 10 or 12 days, some of your tiny plants will likely be tall enough to touch the inside of those domes, so now is the time to remove them. One of the things I appreciate about this garden is that it operates almost completely silently. It's actually running right now and I seriously doubt you can hear anything. And only very occasionally on a day-to-day -day basis did I ever hear a slightly whirring fan inside, which is dispersing the fog. It's a good idea to check in on your water levels about two weeks in. The first thing I saw when I lifted up the floor panels to check my water level is that the water had turned really orange. Unsure about the cause, I reached out to Plantiform to ask. Plantiform tells me discoloration and growth in the bottom tank are sometimes caused by a reaction between the rock wool growing medium and your water. Light exposure may also play a part or having very iron rich water. Thanks to the very high mineral content of water here in the city of Calgary, this actually makes a lot of sense to me. Plantiform says that discoloration though is typically harmless. When I did my water check, I did notice the water level seemed low. You can look in the app and it's going to show you an approximate number of days before you should need a refill, but this isn't exactly accurate. The app's water estimate shown is based on when the tanks are expected to run low, but it's not tracking real-time water levels automatically. So this is where you come in. The app will ask you to look at and then record the amount of water in the bottom tank, and once you enter it, it may also ask you to fill your reservoir and potentially add more nutrients or fertilizer, both of which we needed to do. I also learned the top tank essentially acts as an extra water reservoir, so it may trickle down into the bottom as needed, and the small light on the front can also tell you what's up with your water by changing color. Now with the water refilled here in mind, it is back to the waiting. And since we have some more time to kill before my harvest is ready, now is probably a good time to talk about the different options for plants in your plantiform garden. My garden came with a package of mixed lettuces, but there are several different plant packs available, including cherry tomatoes, edible flowers, herbs, and other greens, as well as mixed options that will combine things like lettuce, herbs, and tomatoes. The instructions for this device say you do have to plant all of your seed pods together at once, but I was actually really curious whether I could just maybe plant one tier at a time or one level in my lettuce garden here, since having 15 lettuces all maturing at one time means we are probably going to have a lot of salad eating to do. I reached out directly to Plantiform to ask and the company told me it is technically possible to stagger your plantings and it could work if you're willing to kind of take over the management of them. But the app isn't designed to monitor different crops that start at different times. And further to that, the garden itself wouldn't be able to adjust the different water, light and temperature settings for each different planting group. Let's talk about the ongoing costs of this device. A pack of 15 lettuces is regularly priced at $39 Canadian, and I have seen them on sale for as low as 25. At regular price, it works out to about $2.60 per lettuce pod, which compared to grocery store prices these days actually seems like a bit of a bargain. One other question I had as I was tending to my mini garden here is whether or not I could potentially plant my own seeds. The company says it is actually supporting a beta program right now for DIY plantings, and if it goes well, that could roll out widely in 2025. After almost exactly four weeks, my lettuces were fully ready. Now I did notice that some of them were a bit more ready than others in terms of being a little larger, and I just chalk this up to the pods being different varieties. You can pick each leaf or remove the pods and harvest the whole head of lettuce. Then when you're done, plug the hole with one of the included stoppers so that the fog stays centralized in your growing column while the rest of the lettuces finish growing. The quality of the lettuce is really good and you can't beat how fresh this is. 
This salad goes from pod to table in about four steps as opposed to four days trucking time. Mm. Overall, I have been really thrilled with this product. I've been looking for an indoor garden option for quite some time, but everything has seemed either too big, too noisy, or just like too much work for me. I found the plantiform concept to be really ideal and a lot of fun, and it's producing a really great crop. Let's go over both the pros and the cons as I found them after a month to see if this might be a good indoor garden solution for you. On the pro side, I really love the design. I think it is super cool and unique and a great conversation piece. It's incredibly easy to grow anything in this pod, and I like the fact that the seed pods are mess-free and there's no soil involved. I also appreciate the fact the company chooses a handful of lettuces that should grow well together, so I get both variety and a complementary crop. Absolutely everything I need is included in the box, including cleaning and maintenance supplies, and the instructions for growing are easy to follow. I love that this pod operates completely silently and autonomously with almost zero intervention required from me during the growing cycle. The lettuce grows relatively quickly, all things considered, and having many tasty different varieties and greens all maturing over a week or two is really convenient. So what are the potential downsides? This device is obviously quite large and it is a challenge to find a place for it. I would also like to see future versions of this come with their own stand of some kind. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be cool if Plantiform could find a way to let us stagger planting so we don't have an entire crop ready and inundating us over a week or two. I would also like to see a future version of the garden have some type of automatic water sensor that could determine real-time water levels. And not a downside, but something I am looking forward to is the option of DIY growing so I can experiment with my own plants and crops like spinach, broccolini, or maybe some other herbs. And if, by the way, you'd like me to do a follow-up and see if I can get that done, make sure to let me know in the comments. In short, Plantiform is an amazing indoor garden solution that checks all the boxes for me, and I can absolutely recommend it for you. Plantiform Rejuvenate sells for about $7.99 Canadian, and you can get one from the Plantiform website. And if you're interested in gardening technology, or you'd love to try growing things on maybe a smaller scale, you can check out my review of Click and Grow, or see how to turn your hose into an automatic outdoor watering system with Eve Aqua right now.